Planning analytics cubes can be used as data sources in Cognos Analytics. This allows you to expand the scope of enterprise data used to tell data-driven stories in a rich visualization environment. The scenario for this video is to use sales data from a planning analytics cube. I've been asked to see what insights I can discover about insurance sales. The AI assistant will be used to explore the data set. Cognos Analytics' ability to recommend visualizations based on data will be demonstrated, and several dashboard building techniques will be shown. This is the dashboard that will be built in the video. It shows how products contribute to the bottom line. A planning analytics cube was used to create a Cognos Analytics data source connection, and then a data module was created from the data source. In Cognos Analytics, the data is in the same dimensional format as it is in planning analytics. Since this is the first time I've seen this data, I'm going to use the AI Assistant. To get started, I create a dashboard. A data module was created for me using a data connection to my planning analytics cube. Clicking on the Assistant icon, I can start the conversation. Since I've not used the assistant before, I'm going to type help and see what types of questions I can ask. I'm going to use the show source command to learn more about my data source. I can see that I have three measures available to me. I'm going to ask this question to get a sense of where sales are happening. The assistant creates a map. Other visualizations are also available running along the top of the map, and that's using the same data. I can click on those if I was interested to see them. Next, I want to see if I can find out what drives sales. The assistant shows me interesting fields that are related to quantity. In this case, I'm going to pick staff name. A scatter chart was drawn for me this time, and I can see that there are two staffers who are selling well above others. I can drag and drop that chart onto my canvas and save that for later. To investigate how products are selling by region, I can ask, tell me about quantity, product line, and region. And in this case, the assistant has picked a heat map as the best visualization to use for my question. I'm going to drop that onto the canvas as well. Since I'm interested specifically in insurance products, I will use Cognos Analytics ability to apply filters for selected objects. To demonstrate this, I'm going to select the insurance heading in the heat map. The scatter chart's redrawn where it's filtered just for insurance products at this point. When I hover over the highest point on my scatter chart, I can see Bjorn Winkler is the highest selling salesperson for the insurance product line. I now have a better understanding of the data and I can start to create the dashboard. I'm going to create a tab that'll be used for insurance products. And I can give it a name. For my first visualization, I'm going to select several columns. I start by selecting the sources. And to multi-select, I hold down the control key. I drag and drop those onto my canvas. The Cognos Analytics Artificial Intelligence picks the visualization best suited for the selected data. In this case, it's used a bar chart showing me order methods by quantity. Currently, this bar chart is showing all products. Since my focus is insurance, I want to remove the non-insurance products. And I can do this easily by expanding product line and dropping the insurance on the filters tab. This visualization is now filtered just with insurance data. To make it easier to see what order method has the biggest impact on sales, I can sort the bars. I now have a ranked list, which clearly shows telephone and sales visits are the order methods resulting in the largest number of sales. Now I want to investigate which product types contribute to the bottom line. But to do this, I need to know revenue, and that wasn't provided to me. I can create a calculation by selecting quantity and unit price and creating a calculation by rightmost clicking Create Calculation and changing the operation 
to multiplication. If I had a more complex calculation, more than two columns, I would use the calculation editor and create my calculation there. The new calculation now appears in my data source. This time I'm going to select my own visualization. I notice the product type is across all products. Because this tab is for insurance, I'm going to apply a filter to the tab rather than having to remember to apply local filters to every visualization I add. I do this by dragging insurance onto the filter area. And I can see that my bar chart is now filtered just for insurance products. The rank list is showing me that life insurance is my major contributor to the bottom line within the insurance product type. One thing to note here as well is currently my data is across all time. If I want to focus on a specific year, I can drop year name on the canvas and a table is created. Making use of Cognos Analytics ability to apply a filter to all visualizations based on a selection, if I select 2012, my charts are now filtered for 2012. If I was interested in seeing what filters were applied to a chart, I can click the filter icon. Now that I understand how order methods and product types impact sales, I'll continue to dive deeper and look at sales from additional perspectives. Cognos Analytics has created a heat map for me, and I can see Germany and the United States are my strongest markets, with the United States being the leader across all product types except home insurance. And finally, I want to understand how revenue changes year over year, and in particular, I want to understand how revenue changed in the period of 2009 to 2012. Selecting revenue and year name, I drop it onto the canvas. And Cognos Analytics has picked the line chart as the best suited visualization. There's a lot of data here, and I'd like to focus in on those years I mentioned. Dropping year name into the local filter, a filter pane opens. I select the years that I'm interested in. The revenue line currently represents all insurance products. Dropping product type on the color slot, I now break it out by product type. Remembering that life insurance and motor insurance were my two highest contributors, I'd like to see how my two top performing insurance products perform year over year. Again, dropping in local filter, I can select life insurance and motor insurance. I can now see how those two product types perform relative to each other. If I wanted to see how sales by quarter occurred in 2011, I can use Cognos Analytics drill down capability that makes use of the dimension hierarchies that were defined in planning analytics. Hovering over 2011, I right mouse click and select drill down. All my charts are now redrawn to 2011 because a filter has been applied and I can see how the sales revenues changed quarter over quarter. To drill back up, I hover over any quarter, right click and click back. If I hover over a data point on a particular insurance product type and right click and drill down, my chart is now showing all the products underneath the motor insurance product type and the filter has been applied to all my other visualizations as well. Again, to drill back up, I hover over any point and click back. You've now seen how AI System can be used to explore a data set and kickstart your dashboarding efforts, how Cognos Analytics can guide you by suggesting the best visualizations based on the data you drop on the canvas, and how to create interactive visualizations enabling you to investigate how your business is performing and support telling a data-driven story.